So hello everyone. One of the amazing thing they want to tell you today about learn pharmacology with pharmacoach is like this is the first time on YouTube where you will be covering your pharmacology by using Lipin Gold book is like the reason why I've chosen Lipin Gold book is because this is easily understandable by everyone. And my purpose is to clear your concept and learn pharmacology through the basic. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we have the prescription from the Dow Hospital's doctor who is gastroenterologist and he has prescribed syrup like Gaviscon 2 spoon twice in a day and other syrup like Colpol 6 plus 2 spoon twice in a day for 3 days and a tablet like size in 250 mg 1 tablet twice in a day for 7 days. So here 2 spoon shows the amount of drug and this, is, um, and this amount called the dose. And then 2 plus 2 spawn shows the dosage, which is the frequency of dose. And how about the duration? Duration is like 7 days. And then we have the syrup. Here the syrup shows the, the route of drug administration. Like syrups are given through the oral route. And syrup also shows the dosage form because like dosage form comes in like solid, liquid or in gas form. So syrups are in liquid form. So it is the liquid dosage form. But wait, wait, here the question arises like how the dose, dosage, duration and root of drug administration dosage form is set for this prescription? The answer is by using pharmacokinetic. Yes, you heard it right. So my today's content is pharmacokinetic of chapter number one from unit one that is principle of drug therapy. So today's lecture is regarding the overview of pharmacokinetic. Pharmacokinetic refers to what the body does to the drug, means body's effect on the drug. Whereas pharmacodynamic, which I'll be telling you in chapter number 2, describe what does drug do to the body, means drug effect on the body. It may be the desirable or undesirable one, like, uh, like therapeutic effect or the adverse effect or the side effect. Once administered through one of the several available routes, four pharmacokinetic properties determine the speed of onset of drug action, the intensity of the drug's effect, and the duration of drug action. So, four pharmacokinetic parameters are like absorption. So, first, drug absorption from the site of administration permit entry of therapeutic agent either directly or indirectly into the plasma. Direct is, directly is like through the IV route, or indirectly is by any other route. So absorption is the movement of drug from site of administration into the bloodstream. And then we have distribution. Distribution is like movement of drug from the bloodstream into the interstitial or intracellular fluid. Like the drug may then reversibly leave the bloodstream and distribute into the interstitial and intracellular fluid. Then we have the metabolism. Third, the drug may be biotransformed by metabolism by the liver or other tissues. Metabolism is also called biotransformation because it occurs in our body. And this biotransformation is like conversion of active drug into inactive or conversion of inactive drug into active or conversion of active into inactive drug, active into active drug and also conversion of the harmful drug into less harmful drug. Okay. So, and the major metabolic organ in our body is the liver. And then we have the elimination. Elimination is also very important. We mostly, you know, give focus on the absorption. But let me tell you guys, elimination is also very important. Because until and unless the drug is not eliminated from our body, it will accumulate and cause the toxicity. So finally, the drug and its metabolites are eliminated from the body in urine, bile, feces, or in sperm, milk, saliva, or any other root. So pharmacokinetic parameters allows the clinician to design and optimize treatment regimens including decisions as to the route of drug administration for a, spe for a specific drug like Calpol, like we have seen the syrups, uh, the amount like dose, like 2 spoon, the frequency of each dose like like thrice in a day, two spoons thrice in a day, as we have seen in the prescription, and the duration of treatment, like seven days for the for the tablet, like sizing, and, and three days the tablet. Then we have the summary of today's lecture. 
so here absorption shows how the drug comes in and distribution shows where does it goes and metabolism shows how it get metabolized and elimination shows how the drug leave from the body so thanks for watching my video and if you like my video so subscribe like and comment below that's what i'll be waiting for because your comments are boon for me so once again thank you very much for watching my video